Hello kiddos, Sir E is here and for this video, we're going to talk about the first part of electric motor, the magnetic effect of a current. <laughs> Let's have a short recall. When a current flows through coils of wire, a magnetic field is generated, producing an electromagnet. Ibig sabihin, kapag dumadaloy ang kuryente sa isang wire or sa isang conductor, tatandaan natin na nakakaproduce din ito ng magnetic field or ng magnetism. Let's have this picture for example. Kung nakikita ninyo, nakakonect tayo sa dalawang battery at merong switch at meron tayo ditong wire. Nang dumadaloy na ang kuryente, may kita ninyo na na-attract yung mga pins dito sa wire na to. So, anong indication nun? Kapag may dumadaloy na kuryente sa isang conductor, ibig sabihin ay nakaka-produce din ito ng magnetic field. At ayon ang rason kung bakit na-attract ang mga pins na to dito sa ating wire. For this lesson, we will answer these questions. What happens to the magnetic field when the strength of the current is increased? And what happens to the magnetic field when the direction of the current is reversed? Let us discover the answers as we go through with this lesson. In here, we have an experimental setup. And this is the experiment conducted by Orsted. Mag-aralan muna natin ang mga components ng experiment na to. Meron tayo ditong battery na nakakonek sa isang resistor at meron din tayong switch. Sa kaliwang bahagi, meron tayong dalawang compass. You have to take note that compass A is placed above the wire, while compass B is placed below the wire. When no current flows through X, Y, the compass needles point to the north. Parang ganito. Pero ano kayang mangyayari kapag switch on natin at dumaloy na ang kuryente? This will be the effect. As you can see, once the current flows through the X and Y, the needle of compass A points to the east, while the needle of the compass B points to the west. Tatandaan ulit natin na ang compass A ay nakalagay sa taas ng wire. At ang compass B naman ay nakalagay sa ilalim ng wire. Kaya ang rason kung bakit magkaiba sila ng direction ng pointer. But what is the point of this experiment? Orsted found out that electricity or current flowing through a wire can also produce magnetic field. That's why the needle pointing to the north originally is now changed. Dahil sa experiment ni Orsted na ito, nalaman natin na may connection ang electricity at ang magnetism. And this is when the electromagnetism was born. The key point that we have to remember in here is that a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field around it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.